It's that time of year again when the Lacrosse Skyrockers count down until the big New Year's Eve event. You might not know the Skyrockers are a nonprofit organization, and that New Year's display is not funded by the city of Lacrosse. The display, actually, the result of donations. And one way they raise money is by allowing people to fire off a shell for a donation. News 19's Heather Armstrong at Pettibone Park tonight to talk with organizers about the show, but also, Heather, the history of this group. Oh, you bet, Dave. Dave, 90 years. They're celebrating 90 years of putting on this show. There is a ton of history with this group. Marty Schmall is here to tell us a little bit about it. Um, start us off with how the group started. Well, back in uh, 19, we've got 1929 here. I'm holding the newspaper on the Lacrosse Tribune of Thousands See the First Show of the Skyrockers. And it was a group of guys that got together and went up on the bluff and lit up a fire and just shot fireworks to the community. And we've been going strong since. And you know, the city obviously doesn't pay for it. You run on donations. Even back then, how did they pay for it? It was all donations and it was people from the community and helping them and a lot of it came out of their pockets to keep it going also. And tell us about some of the worst years. Oh, cold, rain. You know, we saw 4th of July a couple years ago. It was real hard to shoot in. We've seen weather on the bluff on New Year's where it's been minus 40, minus 50 up there, minus 100 wind chills even, pushing very bad numbers. Tell us how the war uh, affected the show 40, 50 years ago. Well, there was a time back in the day where they couldn't get gunpowder to make fireworks with, and they couldn't shoot them because they didn't use it. They couldn't find the explosives to shoot. Unbelievable. Thank you. We just want to run over here really quick. Sonia Mix is joining us now really quick. The history. You and I both love that. Tell us a little bit about it. It was 10 guys getting together, each chipping in 10 bucks. And, you know, 90 years later, it's amazing what the community has done. Five bucks from one person, 50 bucks from another person. And it adds up to an amazing tradition oh, that's sure lasted this long. And be sure to come check us out at our open house this Saturday down at Myrick Park. You can learn about fireworks, learn about the science behind fireworks, the different colors that make up the shells, and see some of the shells themselves. All right, December 7th, that is. And this group, again, they work on educating the public on how to light off fireworks safely. Dave? Heather, thanks very much. You know, scenery doesn't get much better than that. The river in the foreground and rotary lights in the background, that is just terrific.